Hi, I am Anand Bhaskar. I am the CEO and Managing Director of Airworks. We are an MRO company in India. We are the largest, the oldest, and uh, uh, the, uh, having the most capabilities uh, in the MRO space in India. We support uh, not just Indian uh, airlines and customers, but we also take care of uh, aircrafts of our neighboring countries, uh, neighboring countries right from Vietnam right up to Turkey. Uh, we are also a significant player in the defense MRO market. Uh, we have been a YASA approved facility for last 10 years. We have time and again proved our capabilities and come up to the challenges that have been thrown at us and uh, delivered, uh, delivered uh, and beaten Mo, uh, delivered uh, uh, to more than the expectations uh, of our customers. It's very exciting time for us. As you all know, the number of aircrafts getting added in India uh, is huge. Uh, uh, India is perhaps the only economy where the number of aircrafts on order is much more than the aircrafts in the field. Uh, uh, India will very soon be the third largest domestic uh, domestic market, uh, not just in India, the Southeast Asia, the entire region is brimming with a lot of activities, a lot of excitement and uh, very soon the fulcrum of uh, civil aviation will shift from US to this part of the world with China growing, India growing and many of the neighboring countries growing. So overall a very exciting time for all of us uh, uh, in India. Uh, we need to uh, go and grab this opportunity because it's once in a lifetime opportunity for us and we have to do all those which would make us get to the right care at the earliest. What are, what are the things which are happening in the industry? Well, uh, as you would appreciate, MRO is all about capabilities, all about people. We have very good talent pool with us, technical talent pool. What we need to do is to make them aviation ready, make them MRO ready. And this, that's where the skill development uh, initiative by the government is coming very handy. The government is supporting us on the skill development and lots of initiatives are being taken to ensure that there is sufficient and more throughput uh, of uh, skilled manpower which is made available to the MRO industry as it goes on the path of uh, growth. Uh, the second one, uh, is on the taxation. Lots and lots of uh, things have been done by the government in over the last seven to eight years or even ten years. Uh, India, ha MRO has been recognized as an industry, priority industry. Uh, we have been given a uh, lot, uh, lot of tax uh, initiatives have been brought in. There are few more uh, uh, creases which have to be ironed out, a few more issues which needs to be uh, fixed, which government is well aware and I am very confident uh, and optimistic about uh, the whole thing that uh, government will bring, bring that uh, uh, very soon. As you know, aircrafts can fly anywhere. They are not restricted to get their MRO work done in a place and therefore there needs to be a level playing field not just within the country but across the region for us to attract uh, attract the uh, all the airlines not just of indian air, uh, indian operators but for the southeast uh, region my dream is that it, india should become the mro hub for southeast asia we have all the ingredients it's just a matter of putting them together in the right proportion and making it work uh, Again, uh, exciting times as I said, as a company, we are gearing ourselves up uh, for this. We are uh, currently based out of Osu, Mumbai, and, uh, and we have presence across the country in more than 24 locations where we take care of Indian airline, Indian operators, as well as many of the international operators and their wide body and narrow body fleet. We shall be shortly expanding uh, our heavy maintenance facilities to Kochi, where we are taking two more bases, and uh, uh, and uh, I'm sure uh, 
uh, with the growth in the market, we will be putting in more, more and more facilities to kind of take care of the requirements of the airlines. My uh, motto is to ensure that the cost of operations for the airline is the lowest as far as the maintenance is concerned because we can do well only when airlines do well and airlines will do well when maintenance cost is kept to the minimum uh, on the P&L, it is managed effectively and that's where we will give our 100% support to all the airport operators. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bhaskar. Right. Excellent motto. Right. Wish you best of luck from ADU. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice. Let's come out now. 5 minutes, 41 minutes. Second. First class. Very big.